Hello everybody, it's the Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. We are back on the mod test map and we are back with another auto drive tutorial. Now this one, we're going to try a little bit more technical stuff. Basically the aim of this today is to show you how combine unload works, but rather than just showing you combine unload, we're going to go one step further. We're going to connect two courses, we're going to unload the combine from the field into an auger wagon, but we're going to take that auger wagon, unload it into a truck, and then that truck is going to run back to the silo and unload it in the silo for us and we're going to run that on a loop so we've got ourselves uh, a fent here with an auger wagon we've got ourselves uh, a truck and down just as far as the eye can see there you can see the case combine sitting at the edge of a cornfield so um i have no auto drive courses set up here we've completely wiped everything for the purposes of this just to give you an idea of how to start from scratch again so our first course is going to be in the fence and we're basically going to create a simple loop here because um, what we want is to make sure that uh, we can get uh, the tractors around and about on the map so let's call this point we'll start here and this call call this point uh, shop so our very first point we hit record it's going to be shop and what we'll do we'll run from here We'll run in a loop, align ourselves to the road. Now again, as I pointed out in the last video, I prefer to have my line height above the tractor. just helps me see things a little better. Turn edit back on, there we go. Um, so we're going to run down the road here. Now we need to be mindful of which side the pipe is going to unload on. But we're going to run down to the end of the road here. And we're going to stop here at the edge of the field because this is the field that we're going to unload from maybe move out a little bit to avoid hitting the combine if he goes past but this will be our course for wait for a new point to arrive there we go and we're going to name this field 10 so we're going to create that course. Now what I'm going to do is roll along slightly further. And we're going to call this point field 10 auger unload. Because basically that's the point we want the tractor to drive to to unload the auger wagon. Now we're going to do a loop around here. I'm going to head back along. Now we don't need this. This is just to purely connect up the course. But what will need this is the truck that we've got parked there at the shop still. So we'll just join this back up to the shop. There we go. Click on this point and click back on this point. Now um, somebody did point out to me uh, after the last video that you can in fact set a setting uh, in auto drive uh, to um, connect points at the end there we go auto connect end uh, I have that s uh, switched to no I'm happy to leave it like that but if you prefer to do it that way you're more than welcome to uh, and there we are we've got a complete course so now if I uncheck that we should be able to run to field 10 so let him do that because that's where we need him now, we're happy that he's going to do that. We are going to jump into our truck, which is just here, and we're going to create another bit of course. And in principle, what we want this course to do is we will utilize this, but we will drive around here, and we're just going to create a spur off it for the silo. So let's use this point here let's hit the record button there we go he's going to run off here and he's going to go up and over and now remember what I said last time try and run your target point past the unload point because if the, tra if the truck or the tractor reaches it 
it will unload before it finds the point. It's clever enough to be able to do that. So let's call that silo unload point. Okay. Now what we need to do is make sure we connect this back up to the main route. We're still recording, so that should be straightforward enough. So we go to... There we go, that's close. So we just connect these two up. Now let's just do a test, because we've gone past the silo and load point. It's always good to test your courses once they're done, so... Click here, let's go to silo and load point. Now, see? That tells us something is not connected, so... We'll just turn around and go and have a look at it. I think I know the problem here. I think it created a new... Uh, a new point down here rather than connecting to the existing network so yes you can see here there are two points and one of them isn't connected got a little bit of a funny thing there so what I want to do here is probably remove this point here now to do that and I didn't tell you this in the last uh, video as well if you hold the alt button down and just click on that it disappears but there we go, we've managed to remove that now, so all we need to do next is click on this one and click on this one to connect them. Now, now we've done that, we should be able to uh, get it to sense on this side, that's what I wanted to do. Now I should be able to send it to the silo on low point and it's working. So we fixed that little element there and that's a really good reason why once you've created your auto drive courses you should be testing them before you use them in anger because if you don't, you might never know where there's a little break in it. So there we go, silo unload point tested. That's fantastic. Now, like I said, it will roll past here because there is no uh, crops in the trailer. But if it was full of crops, it would unload before it rolled to the silo unload point. So, now we know that works, what we need to do is take this down to field 10 course. Now if you remember I said last time that uh, you treat auto drive like uh, a, a train track it's really helpful for helping you understand how it works. Um, so we are going to create a spur off here um, and we're going to hit the record button again because what we're in essence doing here is creating an addition to the track which is going to run down to here and let's stop it just in front of the other one somewhere like that in fact I'm going to reverse it back so it's on this point um, I'd quite like another point to be created to be honest let's keep going till we get another point there we go, that's what I wanted now I want to slightly move this one back here uh, and this point we're going to call field 10 trailer load and basically what I'm going to get this to do and we'll join this back up in a minute what I'm going to get this to do is take uh, the auger wagon into the field it will unload the combine it will then bring the full load in the auger wagon back to this point here for field 10 auger unload at that point this trailer will be waiting it will load the trailer from the auger and then when this trailer is full it will take it over to the silo point and unload it there so we're basically going to automate the whole thing we're going to run the combine on course play combine has going to have nothing to do with auto drive auto drive is only going to work uh, for the auger wagon and the truck and the combine's only going to run on course play and i'm going to show you how well this integrates together So um, we just need to finish this by connecting this course up. Uh, I want to give our truck the best chance uh, of connecting. It's a, it's a bit bigger than uh, the auger wagon, so I'm going to give it a bigger turning circle. Now technically we could run it away down there and around, and but for the purposes of this vid, I think what we'll do is uh, make things relatively easy. Um, but again, this, I'm doing this a bit rough and ready. What I would do if you were planning your course out is 
think a little bit more about kind of the long term strategy for it because you don't want to uh, you don't want to create a course that then you have to break apart and re-edit um, as soon as you add some more parts to it so there we go we have our field trailer unload point we have our field auger unload point we have field 10 which is actually our start point so what will happen is when the combine's running through the field we're going to set combine unload to start at field 10 go and find the combine in the field so um uh, we'll talk you through that in a little minute but now now this is over here i'm going to send this back again we'll do a test on our course we want to send this trailer back to field 10 trailer load point So here we are just doing the turn at the shop. Now what you'll see here, rather than going off on the right hand spur there, it's going to run straight along the road because it's going, it's looking for the, for the quickest route. Uh, so it hasn't gone into the silo and low point we set before. But when we get back to the stop point, I'm going to set it to run to the silo and low point. So it's going to turn into here, it's going to break off into its own spur there. It's going to stop any second now it's just going to roll up to there nice and slowly there we go so he's arrived there now we're going to change his settings now because what we want to do here we're going to do an unload course like we did last time so it starts at field uh, 10 trailer load we want it to finish at silo unload point and the crop that we're going to put in it is corn um, turn him on he will run all the way around now, I think. Do a one test um, to get himself started. Now, technically, we could have reversed him back slightly and he would have just run to field 10 trailer point, but it's good. I never see it as a bad thing to test the course a couple of times, spot any issues. But he's off, so that's great. Now, while he's running there, we are going to set this up, and this is a new course. Um, so we're going to use combine course for the first time here. And we're basically going to start with field 10 here, but our unload point is going to be field 10 auger unload. So he's only in essence going to run between these two points here. Um, now what we might do here actually, just looking at that, we don't want him to run on the big long course all the way around when he's finished unloading to then come back to the field. So what we might do here is add a little um, extra part in that loops him back round to the field quickly. So if we do this there we go and connect those up. Now he's not going to run all the way through the town after he's unloaded he's just going to run on that little loop and I've done that thing again where I've forgotten to stop recording so alt click to remove a point and alt click to remove a point there we go and let's turn it off so we don't make this mistake again so now field 10 to field 10 org unload if I hit record now he should run and stop at field 10 so he's set up to run. The truck is set up to run. Look, he's even removed his cover. So um, I think that's our, I think that's our auto drive course is set up. So let's run down to the combine now. Okay, let's jump in the combine. Uh, this should be very simple to set up now. Before we do course by, and that's what we're going to use for combine in the field. Uh, in auto drive, I like to make sure that the uh, the option for field ten is set up so that the auger wagon driver will talk to the combine. Now, all we need to do now is create a course play course. Using field 10, we're going to go around the headlands, a bit of overlap there, pretty straightforward stuff, and we're going to hit start at first waypoint there we go drive course okay he's off now we can close down course play um, 
And it's a case of waiting now. Here he comes. Grain cart cover off. He's just doing a bit of calculation now to work out where he is going. But interestingly, he is not on a he is not on an auto drive course anymore. He is working all of this out out with the auto drive course. If I turn edit mode on here um, and jump into the tractor rather than the combine. And he's had to reverse into drive into the field slightly here just because of the awkwardness of the combine on the edge of the field. We'll, we'll do another one of these so you can see. You can see how far he is now from uh, the actual course to see the red line heading back to where the actual course is. But he has unloaded the combine here. He's found his way across the field and he's uh, unloading into the auger wagon. So we'll let that happen. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. This funny corner here where the combine started. He should reconnect to his normal course now. I think he might still do it. Yep, there we go. Everything is good there. That was just a little bit odd because it was on a corner. Now the combine's going to head off again. We are 45% full in the tractor. Okay, we're back with the combine now just to see how much is in the tank. He's sitting at 48, coming up to 50% now. Um, so in the not too distant future he's going to give the tractor a shout now we know this is just going to keep filling up so what I'm going to do is jump back to the tractor and we will just watch and wait this course is just sitting waiting to run so we'll see what happens next okay looks like the combine is full he is giving the auger wagon a shout again and again He's starting to work his way back to the combine. He's heading towards the combine now. This does feel a little bit more straightforward, I'm not going to lie. This feels a lot more straightforward than uh, the course play version. There's a lot of, uh, I guess, messing about with course play to get it to work. It, I had a lot of times where I thought I'd set everything up perfectly and it just didn't seem... Uh, to want to do what I wanted it to do. What I'm finding with auto drive is it's a lot less temperamental. You pretty much tell it what to do and it goes and do it. You've got to remember a, a slight sequence of things, so making sure the combine uh, has a marker for field 10 on it as well so it can identify the auger wagon. But other than that, it seems to work pretty well. And um, proof here, I'm, I wanted to show you this again because the first one, just because it was on the corner of a field, seemed a bit odd. But uh, now he's uncovered the auger wagon and he's going to roll forward. It's not the quickest, but it's effective. He will roll under the pipe for the combine. Dead centre, look at that. Fantastic. Now, this is likely to be around about 90% full, this uh, auger wagon, after this uh, unload. So I think it might be a good opportunity to see what happens when we run it back to the trailer that's sitting at the ed ed edge of the field. So we'll let him fill up. I'm not sure if he'll wait till he's 100% or he might just go at this 90%. We'll sure wait and see. We're doing a bit of, bit of a trial on this one as well. But there he goes, he's reversing now. He's got 91%. I'd like to think that that's enough for him to run back to the other trailer. But we will see. Well, it looks like he's made the decision with 91% in the auger to not wait for the other 9% from the combine to fill him up to 100%. And he's going to run the auger wagon back to um, his course and align himself up with the truck, I think. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. We have only trialed this once before, so... Um, I'm almost as hopeful as you guys at the moment. 
He's going to run up to here. In fact, I'll turn edit on so you can see what's happening from a course perspective. But he's basically now looking for a point on the course. He's avoiding the, the uh, fruit on the field as well. So he's going to turn here. Get to his field 10 point. And as soon as he hits the field 10 point, he will move to his auger unload point. Because he knows he's full. Look, there's the auger pipe coming out. He will unload. He's not reached the auger unload point yet. Now, remember what I said before about if you set the point past where you want it to unload, it will work itself out and it will unload from that point. So he will unload the entire auger into that truck. Now, that truck does take 50,000 litres uh, and there's 37 in the auger wagon. So the truck won't leave yet either until he's full. But we'll empty that auger wagon and I fully expect the combine will almost be ready to go again. So now he's finished unloading. Just so happens there's the combine going past as well. He's going to run to auger unload point. And then he's going to run back to field 10 and he will wait for the combine to call on again. So everything is working as intended. All we need to do now is wait for another full auger wagon and he'll come back, unload into that trailer. And the final part of the jigsaw will be if the trailer then heads to the silo unload point and gets rid of it for us. So there he goes, he's uh, recognised that the combine is full and he's now heading down in that direction to get filled up. He's going to loop around, probably drive past and loop around very quickly. Rolling onto the combine here and he'll start to unload again. There we go. Once he's unloaded the combine will head off, we'll get our second load in here. And then we'll be able to see what happens when we unload into the trailer and the trailer is full. Now he's covered up, he's got 95% in the auger wagon, so he's quickly going to loop around now, a little bit of a drive through the corn there, it's a bit naughty, <laughs> but he's uh, going to connect to his route. And like I said, um, it's actually only 28,000, 29,000 litres in this Kinsey. But actually, I think um, two loads from here into that trailer will push the trailer along its threshold, beyond its threshold for uh, unloading. So we'll uh, I'll let him loop round and we will um, hopefully see him head off to the silo to unload. Here he comes. So there we go. Second load unloaded. And now I think I just need to reiterate here. I haven't touched anything since we hit go on course play for the combine. I haven't touched a single thing. Um, it has literally all been automated. So there we go. The warrior is full. Or it's filled at 84% anyway. And it started to leave. I just jumped into it at the right time then. So he's looping around. And it looks like, according to auto drive, he is heading to the silo unload point. So this is the moment of truth. This is the, the final piece in the jigsaw. Uh, and the final confirmation that I've done the right thing here. Um, and my points are all in the right place. The combine's still running in the field. So if he unloads here, we have completed a fully automated uh, harvest in a field with no interaction at all from me on the keyboard or the mouse since we set everything up.
Uh, we just got to confirm that we'll unload this bit. Well, the cover's off already, that's positive. He's running up to the location, there he is, off on the spur. And like I said, I've set my uh, my point beyond the silo for that very, very purpose there that you see. The moment he sees the trigger, he will unload into it. There we go. Running down to the end. He is empty. Now, we'll give him a second to uh, sort himself out, and he's going to run himself back to the field. So there you go, back to the unload point. Faultless. The whole process has been faultless. Even with those challenging unload points for the combine, the auger wagon worked it out every time. There's grain still in the auger wagon here. He's going to unload that. By the time he's done this, the combine's probably going to be not far off being ready again. And we just rinse and repeat till the field is finished. How good is that? How good is that? And you, like I said, the amount of times I've done this with course play and you've had to reset courses or it's not worked or it's not done what you thought it would or you've got a tractor that concertinas in the middle or, or it crashes with the combine or it just gets lost. Nothing of the sort with this. It has run faultlessly since the very start. And there we go, combine full right on cue again, and off the Orgo wagon goes again. It is, it's seamless. The whole thing is seamless. So, if you're a course play user who's been struggling with uh, combine unload on course play, I strongly recommend you check this out, because for me, it feels like a no-brainer to run it this way. Uh, the combine running on course play as per usual, but the grain cart running on auto drive, and the fact that you you can unload into a trailer and then run the trailer down to the silo is fantastic as well. So, for me, for now, uh, that was a little bit of an advanced auto drive course. Um, but even then, it's not that difficult when you get your head around it. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. hope it's been helpful. And I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.